Transfigurational Healing Power. That's the name of the video on YouTube on the channel by Christopher Comstock, Eli Healing Share. It's not a mathematical coincidence why God's source eternal. I'm supposed to experience that right on time. And the reason that I say that is Ashaya was talking about, which is the purpose and meaning of this video, and I've sort of covered this in many videos I've done over the years a long time ago. I shouldn't say it. a long time ago. There is no time. I'm zero. And she talked about changes, just like one of the oldest Chinese manuscripts, which is called I with a, with a, a, a vertical I, not an E-Y-E-I, -E -I, the first camera I, I Ching, that's known as the Book of Changes. And in that book is the Hex Nut 666 mathematical table of killing numbers, which breaks cosmic law, which is to break the electrical spin as a battery drainer. Right? The circulation speed of electron transport. Of... Who do you think delivers the first oxygen molecule? What state of awareness generated the first oxygen molecule? A basic neurological question of breathing. <laughs> okay. Oxygen breeders. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. The golden triangle. Three spheres, point to point to point. I know. Four gated Ys, the center point. Not, now we're back to 1990. So she mentioned a word. What language, as electrical codes, do you want to load into your read act of memory and then speak the sound and light burn patterns of that language using a voice box in the future? So you see why they standardized English text, English sounds, babble sounds, convoluted electrical codes of communication. So I used an example communicating to myself before I decided to put it up on this camera, that camera, not the eternal camera, a finite camera. So ask yourself a simple neurological breathing question. Would you, as a living life form that is self-aware, would you prefer to learn through an eternal being and eternal state of mind to experience eternal energy? Would you rather live in a, a world that is eternal so you're learning through eternal love? Or would you rather live in a world that is finite and you're learning through finite energy? That's a basic test light. So she mentioned the word called Shona, Shona light. Okay. So if I took 100,000 adults that in America that went through elementary school, middle school, and we're into the load the program, load the language codes, the electrical elementary codes into the read active memory. And so most children that grew up in America when I did in the 1950s and 60s, know the difference between what's true and what's false. So if I went and, and, and addressed, addressed like an ISP address, the spin point address of what it feels like, what it feels like, what it is, what it feels like, And I said to them, Shona Light, I would imagine that most of them are looking at each other and not knowing how to apply that word as a sound and light burn pattern. What's Shona Light? What does she mean by Shona Light? But if I said to all of you, as I did as a child, it's false light. Oh, we know what false is, then it's not true. So we know what true love is because true love is a true spiral, which is a crystal spiral. 
which is true love, which is no charge. Again, they flip it. Stimulus response conditioning, load the program. Load the war program. Load the war machining programs. The machine coded language, the electrical codes of machines of finite energy, run finite energy programs. That's what she meant by shown a light. The speed at which you're eliminating quarantine codes, quantum intelligent codes, which are finite codes, which are quarantine codes. That's why it's QI, quarantine intelligence. So if I said in front of 100,000 adult children, false light, how many of those read active memory driven definitions in the English language know the difference between true and false because they were given true and false tests in school? That means that the reach was larger. They can comprehend and understand what false light is. It's not true light. Now, I don't have to spend more electrical energy to break what I mean by showing a light down as energy efficient communication to experience no electrons, no sound. Be still, be calm. Totally relaxed, experience of being totally loved by the first sun. The first spirit, the grand creator spirit, the grand sun, the grand design. Design, D as in DH receptor, the TV receptor, the antenna, the first antenna, the first communicator. Oh, golden fire. The gold detector. Yes, the gold detector. The weight. The weight of the weight. What does it feel like? Light as light can be. I'm not experiencing any weight. No mass. Wow, no sound. Now I'm on duty. Eternal battery duty. Eternal life force. Ah, uh, yeah.